you know, before you got busted, was there ever a time where you said, look, man, I am 19, 20 years old. I'm sitting on millions of dollars in cash. I, I got a baby on the way. I'm just going to take all this and I'm going to move somewhere else or maybe even move out of the country where there's no you know, extradition policy with the U.S. and I'm just going to retire. Like I got enough to really retire right now. No, man, that, yeah. that ain't, that ain't, how, that ain't like how you go in the streets, man. Like, that's not on cliche. Because what happens is when you start getting that money like that, man, it becomes a high, you know. I didn't use drugs. I didn't drink. But count money and, 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 and running it through the machines was my high, you know. And, um... And being able to help other people, but again, I'm helping people, but I'm hurting a lot of people to help these other people. You know what I mean? But at that time, I'm, I'm not, man. I, you know, the money is uh, that's my drug. You know, getting the money. You know, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't thinking and say, okay, I got enough money. I'm gonna get out. I got, a, I got a kid coming. I want to be free. I'm not. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking like that. You know. I'm. You not. You just not thinking like that, man. You chasing. You chasing a bag. You know. You chasing that bag. You know. So, when you get busted, and you know they essentially caught you red-handed with with cocaine all around you. How did you feel at that point? Did you feel like okay, well, I got some lawyer money. I'm going to beat all this, or did you feel I'm gonna like tell you what okay, I felt. This when is, I got this a, when I got arrested that night? I accepted it right then. I said it is, it's over. Like like immediately out the gate, wasn't no in denial. Man, I'm going to beat this case. It was those conversations with my older partners who told me, man, you jump off the porch, you get caught up for whatever you choose to do, you got to accept the consequences because if you tell, we going to kill you. See, that's what I, that's the cloth I come from up under. I come up under a different cloth, you know? And, and so I heard guys say to me like, man, how can you do all that time? I didn't, I don't, it wasn't a choice. I didn't have no option. Didn't, didn't nobody make me do what I did. I did it because I chose to do it. So I had to accept what came with that, you know? And, um, you know, I know, I know guys that, um, chose to not stand up like me and say, man, I, you know, I want to be with my family, you know? And I say, you know, we, we knew we wanted to be with our family when we, when we chose to get in the streets. It, it, it come with the territory, you know? So um, never did I at one time, and they came to me on three different occasions. So when guys say they don't approach them about cooperating, I know it's bullshit. They're going to approach you, man. They're going to approach you because a lot of guys, they're not going to accept no 35, 40 years of no life sentences. They're going to take their chances and sacrifice some other people to get a break. But that's just, that's okay. just a choice that, that, that I couldn't make or I would never make. So, so as you're going through this whole legal process now, they, they sat down with you. Did they ever say, listen, give up all these people and you could walk free or were they saying give up all these people and we'll give you 10 15 years so five years something what, like that. they said it was this year they said we got the drug ledgers right we see all these guys that's doing business with you right we want these guys over here right help us get these guys we'll change your name we we'll put you in protective witness program. We we'll, we we'll, whoever you want to go with, you can go, and you might do five years. And I said to them, "Man, I can't, I can't. There's no way I can help you with that offer you just said, you know." And so I sent my lawyers to them and told them, "How about give me 15 years? I will take it, cause I'm young, you know. I'll take 15 years and I'll give you an X amount of money." I forfeit the money and get the money to you. They said, "Not with you. We we can't. We, we you know our hands tied. It was it was from uh, from high up. They was like, on your only option, man. You 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 got to you got to help yourself. 
And I said, man, I, I can't I can't help myself that way, man. It's, I'm, it's not in me. I'm not one of them guys, you know. And they said, well, later on down the line, and one of these officers, he, he, he used to try to tell me to get out the streets, man. He, he came and talked to me, man. And he said, hey, man, D, help yourself, man. He said, man, I know you got money. Don't spend the rest of your life in prison. Just help them, man. Talk to the FBI and save your ass, man, and just change your life. And I told him, Mike, I, I can't do that, man. I, I can't do that. <laughs> Well, I mean, because you talk about, well, you know, in the lifestyle that you're in, you know, people who rat, they get killed. Some, right? some, some, but, but they're some, telling you. some of them do. Some of them do. But yeah. listen, even if I wasn't going to get killed, I, I never rat. It ain't even about, because I, I, don't, I don't fear no man, though, like, in real life. But God, though, like, and, and, and like, I've been like, ever since I stepped off the porch in the streets, though, like, it was like. The strong will survive, and the weak gonna get crushed. And I ain't gonna get crushed. I'm gonna do the crushing if my hand be forced, right? So, cooperating, man, and sacrificing other people for freedom when I got caught for what I was doing, to me, is not an option, man. That's not an option. Today is, is, right. is options today because the majority of the guys who doing it now, when they get in a situation like mine, they're gonna cooperate. It's a fact. Right. So even though you had a baby that I guess was born right after you got My arrested, son Lamar. Yeah, he, he was born and, he was born February the tenth. Yeah. Yeah. And and they offered to take you and your whole family, change your name, put you in Idaho somewhere where no one will ever find you, where you don't have you won't fear any repercussions from all the people that you told on. You still said no. I'm not gonna tell anybody. I like I like you I like your question, man. That's a good question, man. But at the end of the day, much as I love my son and love my family, a rat, ratting is not an option with me, man. It's not an option. It, it's my son and my family and friends, they're not going to look at me ever and say, Duro turned into a rat. So the consequences that, that I had to accept with my actions, I had to make the best out of it. And I had to live with them choices, man. I, 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 I couldn't. So if somebody say, you, you, why you wouldn't do that for your son? My son wouldn't want me to be a rat. My, if I was a rat, my son wouldn't respect me. His respect for me is more important than my, me trying to get my freedom to sacrifice somebody else, man. That, you know, that's something that, I, that I'm not willing to do, you know?